So there we go, thanks Neil for having a walk around and telling us all about these wonderful vehicles. Whenever you're ready chaps, you can set off and... Uh, He's excited, isn't he? Have a run down the room a couple of times before you make your way back to your places. And uh, thanks again for bringing your vehicles into the arena. Nice to see the lightweight Land Rovers with the cutaway wings, etc. They say they were four inches narrower than the normal Land Rover. And uh, it's like a big project to get them by parachute. A lovely Jeep, the Willis Jeep. Beautiful. And that young man on that massive road just came out. 12 years old today. There he is, give him some ways. And the Leyland Marsh, of course. Not many of these left in preservation, but uh, no doubt about heavy tank recovery vehicle. So the big uh, scramble through the shade just past the commentary point. Brought on by Mick Stegel. Lot of the the Crusaders again. They actually produce two or three with three axles. Uh, again, used simply by the heavy haulage of the wagon to calm them down, or to cool them down. So there we have it. The uh, Serum Series 1 comes to be with a trailer. Very adaptable vehicles. I used to own one myself years ago. And you'll notice the, uh, they can drop the windscreen down and set the spare up. Uh, they can set half the door off. All sorts of things. Amazing vehicles. They actually do. The Americans have the Jeep and they brought the Land Rover out for Series 1. The competition to a certain extent. And uh, the man who thought of it first against me lived on Anglesey and opened the air uh, of the Series 1 Land Rover assembled on Anglesey, uh, which is lovely, of course, when that's your new car trying to pack it. So, this shows us a truck going around, it's very new, and that's it for them before. Can you slow down please and not land over a trailer, it's not open park. Slow down if you want please. You can start to make your way out when you want chaps. 